What's up guys? John and Cherise here for our special Cupid's Corner. And uh, we want to come at you and show you guys some tips of what might help your relationship ignite, bring it back to life, or just, you know, do something fun with your partner. <laughs> so we want to come at you with our special edition of Cupid's Corner in the bathtub. We actually found a bathtub that would fit my big butt in it because yeah. Sharice isn't that big, right? Yeah, John, nothing fits John's big butt. Yep, yep. So, you know, <laughs> to fit my big butt is something. So we finally found some place that could fit my big butt in it. So we're going to cover some tips for you guys to enhance your relationship or make things better or you possibly just didn't know or you're just not using because you might know some of these things but you're not utilizing the tools. So let's go over the first one. I think that's passion. All right, you got to show passion for your relationship. You got to show your partner you love her or love him or it or whatever it is. It. You got to make sure, right? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, there's a lot of different relations out there. I'm keeping sure he's covered here with bubbles, making sure she's okay. She was worried about that. But passion's everything, right? So show passion, show love. Make sure that you are giving your your partner the most passion that you possibly can. All right. I think that's that's strong, right? Well, I think that you need to have passion regardless, but I don't think you really get the passion unless it's like something that you, like if you really, 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 really love them. Yeah. You know, so if you do love them, just show them that you love them because it will come out naturally. Passion is natural. Yeah. Passion comes from the heart. It comes from, from your soul almost, right? Yeah. It's everything to, uh, to you. I mean, it's what you find your biggest priority of is passion. You know, that's what you really drive for, you're passionate about, that's where that word comes from. So, I mean, that, that's one big thing, passion. So, show passion to your partner. Show your partner you love them in one way, shape, or form, um, and, and show them it's genuine. I think that's a big thing. That's huge. Yeah, I right? agree. Yeah. So, the next thing that comes with, undermining your partner. Do not undermine your partner. Like in many, 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 many ways. And this could go with family, with your kids. So and one kid comes friends. to mom and says, hey, mom, can I do this? And the mom's like, no. And then she goes to the dad or vice versa. And they say yes. And then you're undermining your partner or undermining your partner in front of peers or friends. You know, when your partner's not around, saying something negative against your partner or make uh, a stranger feel that your partner is not, you know, up to par or is not worthy or you don't like your partner for some reason or they get some some idea that that you're undermining them in some way shape or form well, you can't make your partner look bad in front of other oh, people you don't want to do that right that's in multiple situations that's right. whether it's in front of your friends in front of your family in front of anybody especially right. your kids too if they say listen that is a huge huge no-no if the kids come to you and they say something and you say no, then the answer is no across the board. That's do not right. say yes. Do not say this. A lot of times, I don't know what John would say. So you know what I say? Go ask dad. Right. And if dad says yes, then I say yes. It's all about that. It's all about communication at that point. Making sure you and your partner are on the same page. Um, and not letting anybody get in between your relationship. Mm -hmm. That's a big thing. People will try to get in between your relationship. They might be jealous of your relationship. They might have, you know, thoughts about your partner or whatever it may be, and, and they try conniving things. And this is where it's important for you as a couple to be strong together, to grow together, and to trust each other. And that's a big one. I think trust. Trust is a huge part of a relationship. Well, we went through this one when we first yes, met, too. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, trusting your partner, making sure that, you know, you can rely on your partner, A, um, and that you're trusting them. Because if you don't have trust, I mean, you really don't have anything. You're always second guessing what your partner's saying, what they're doing, where they're going. You know, if somebody says something about your partner, you might, you know, think that that person's right without even asking your partner or questioning your partner. And I think that's wrong too. So you really have to be on the same page, communicate and be honest. And honesty and, and, and being truthful to your partner is a big, big thing. And that, that goes with a lot of different aspects of the relationship, right? That's across the board. If yeah. you don't trust your partner, there's going to be a lot of things you're going to second guess. And you don't want to have to second guess things because it's just extra time that you could really just spend with your partner and grow the relationship versus trying to dig up and play <laughs> it's PI. Crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. So make sure you trust your partner and you guys are giving trust. You guys are giving trust. Now, if that trust is broken, 
That trust is hard to, to trust to, is like a tree. It's yeah. And it's, if you knock down a tree, yeah. it takes a very long time to rebuild a tree. Yep. Those roots have to regrow, they have to reestablish. But you know, if you're going to give your partner a second chance, make sure that you're you're open to that too. Just don't you know, if somebody does break trust, okay. Now, at that point, you want to mend things. Make sure you're on the right track to mend things too, because if you say that it's okay or you you're you're okay with it, and at that point you go forward after something's went wrong or trust has been broken, and you keep bringing up these other issues that happened in the past, you guys will never move forward. Mm -hmm. And we'll cover some of these other topics about moving forward uh, and some different tips for you guys to help you guys, or maybe get some insight on how it can help your relationship or make your relationship better. I mean, that's what Cupid Corner is all about. 100%. I mean, we have 12 going on 13 years of experience, so I'm sure we've got some stuff to share with you. Absolutely. So even us, look, we're, we're, we're away. We're in a bath together. Yeah, you know, even that. in our house. We can't fit in our own bathtub at our house. Uh -uh. Um, so this is a treat <laughs> for us. We're relaxing. We want to share our, you know, you know, view of this in, in Cupid's Corner and kind of relaxed relationship. And this is something you guys can do. This is like... This is it looks inside of our yeah. bathtub. So it's just real nice. It's just, you know, just relaxing with your partner. You guys can put some candles out, you know, maybe have a glass of wine. Sharice is drinking water. You guys it's can drink water. water. So if you guys, you know, don't want to drink, you guys can drink water. If you guys want to have a glass of wine and relax in the bathtub, that's really nice too. Turn down the lights, dim them, put some candles on, put some Epsom salt in the bath, and just have a nice time together. You guys can talk relax it could be 20 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes whatever it may be but it'll be really nice and you guys will have a nice relaxed night hopefully uh and it can lead to other things too so this should be a benefit for you guys take a bath take our advice you know get the best time relationship you possibly can there's only so much time in a day and only so much time in a life so guys stay tuned to more of our segments and Cupid's Corner will come at you guys every Sunday too. So look for it in those Sunday at 11 a.m. ABC. We'll see you guys there. Thanks, guys. See you in the next bathtub.